I guess it's off to the Dreaming Cave for us. Let's go ahead. It, the Dreaming Cave is such then a weird name. I wonder if people were actually sleeping in there. For you. Doubt it, but... Whatevs. Okay, so the Dreaming Cave. Where exactly is the Dreaming Cave? In truth, I wasn't even sure it existed. Okay, so that doesn't help. Um, Beneath Corporate Tower... Wait, is it actually... I am actually kind of confused. So I'm thinking it's actually down right you, below. Brian. Man, that sucks. Let me ride my little pony. It's gotta be down here, right? I guess only one way to find out. Well, now it says above. So it can't be down here. Hmm. I wonder. It's weird because I could see it right there. Legitimately confused right now. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, I see. It's not the portal, it's underneath the portal. That's interesting. What in the world is that? Welcome to the Dreaming Cave. Here, we can open paths to other realms. <clears throat> this particular path is blocked by Daedric magic. I have an idea, though. Take the Dawnstar gem from your pack and hold it up to the barrier. Okay. Do... Do I... Oh, right here. Just as I surmised, the barrier... It withdraws from the Dawn Star's power. So it's it's like scared of it almost. Dawnbreaker's gem contains a portion of Meridia's power, but on its own it isn't strong enough to dispel this barrier. We need to find the Dawnbreaker's sword and make it whole once more. But the sword of the and the Golden Knight were pulled into Mafala's realm. We know that at least one Daedric Prince has attempted to help us against the triad of Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal. I think it's time to approach Meridia and solicit her help in this endeavor. This would be the second time Meridia has helped us. Once against uh, Molag Ball and now. and now, How do we get in contact with the Daedric Prince? We need to locate a true believer. One of Meridia's cultists. If anyone can direct us toward Daedric activity on Somerset, it's Lathan. Talk to Lathan. See if you can convince him to help us find one of Meridia's priests. Lathan Statham? <laughs> so where can I find, uh, well, why can't we use the Dreaming Cave to contact Meridia? As we've seen, the triad of Daedric Princes was able to interfere with the Golden Knight's efforts to reach us. If I attempt to use the Dreaming Cave to contact Meridia, chances are they'll notice and stop us. We can't risk tipping our hand just yet. Makes sense. And the barrier blocks access to the portal anyway, right? The barrier doesn't block every possible path. Only the one that I saw in my scribe memory. The path that leads to where I hid the heart of transparent law. As Katora's magic continues to fade, I believe my memories will return in time. What about the other uh, sea slodes? Can't the Abyssal uh, Cabal replace Katora's magic? I don't think so. Each member of the Cabal possesses a unique talent. Katora dealt in mind magic. When you killed him, that magic was lost to the Cabal. No. Now we must concern ourselves with the triad of Daedric Princes. Okay, where can I find Lathan? Just as you were attuned so you could travel to and from Arteum, we use the same magic to prevent Lathan from leaving the island. He is free to wander where he will, but he can't leave. I believe he's outside, talking to Valserin. Do you really think Lathan will help us? Lathan was a good man. I have to believe he still is, despite pledging his allegiance to Mafala and the Court of Bedlam. Besides, we need to contact Meridia. He's our best chance for getting in touch with one of her priests. Uh, remind me uh, what the other Daedric Prince is... What the Triad of Daedric Prince is again? 
Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal join forces to threaten Nern. It appears their ultimate goal is to take control of the Crystal Tower for a reason we haven't yet determined. Lathan is part of the Court of Bedlam. They're mortal servants. Okay, goodbye. Let's go handle some business then. <clears throat> just like that, we're back in Arteum. Well, I guess we never left Arteum. We were just in a room inside Arteum, right? So now, we have to go find Lathan, Mr. Earl himself. I guess, well, he can't leave, so he's somewhere in the vicinity. Where is this guy? There he is. I never planned to come back here. The memories are painful. I still can't believe I had to find you and drag you back. Was our time together really so terrible? You still don't understand. Our daughter will never again see this view or hold my hand or or anything. I guess not. I suppose it's too much for a prisoner to expect a few moments of solitude with his thoughts. Ah, well. His voice completely so, changed. What can I do for you? Has the right master sent you to interrogate me? Doesn't he trust my wife's talents in that regard? Not really. Is there, uh, is there a Meridia cult on Somerset? What a curious question. Do you actually believe that all Daedric cultists know each other? I hate to disappoint you, we don't. Although I can tell you that there are a lot fewer of the Lady of Life's followers now than there were before. What do you mean by that? The Court of Bedlam has been actively eliminating the competition, as it were. Oh, I wasn't personally involved. But I have it on good authority that the Meridia Shrine, hidden to the north of Shimmerine, has been disposed of. The Court of Bedlam killed all of Meridia's followers in Somerset? All? Who can say? I imagine that one or two of them scurried down a dark hole before the blade fell. Like rats her followers are. I believe I have said everything I'm going to on this subject. Now shove off. I guess I could go search around the north of Shimmering. That sounds like a wild Nixad chase. Didn't Razumdar mention he was investigating Daedric cults on Somerset? Maybe you should go talk to him. Perhaps I should. Good idea. Razumdar has been investigating Daedric activity across Somerset. He's your best chance for finding a follower of Meridia. Despite what Lathan has intimated. Do you know where Razumdar is? When last we checked, the Eye of the Queen was in Shimmerine, conducting his own investigation into the Court of Bedlam and other Daedric activity. If anyone in Somerset can point you to a priest of Meridia, it's Razumdar. I... I actually agree. Okay, so I guess we gotta go... Back to Somerset, so I'm not gonna take the actual portal, I'm going to take a way shrine because it's faster, I think. Get in there. Alright, so now we go to Somerset. Well, that was easy. Literally right next to it. Okay. Let's double check this to make sure, okay, yeah, it is. Go ahead, and I always push guild instead of uh, the horse. The two keys are literally right next to each other, so I'm always messing that up. Well, I have no idea what happened there, but okay. Horses do weird if things. If the queen's eye wants to chase his own tail by following Skeeva scribblings, fine by me. Anything to keep him out of our business. Step away from that scribble, newcomer. Take a breath, bailiff. Just a scribble, not one of Razandar's conspiracies. Two bailiffs. Only <clears throat> one of the lesser races would deface a beautiful wall like that. I mean no disrespect, but my statement rings true. 
Razum Dar claims the scribble contains a message of some sort, but I just don't see it. Well, first things first. Do you know where I can find Razum Dar? Hmm. The cat mentioned he was working with a newcomer. But if you ask me about Daedra, I'll toss you down a pit. As I told Razum Dar, Somerset banished Daedric cult centuries ago. Our biggest problem right now concerns these wall scribblers. Okay, look. I'll pay for someone to clean this up if you just tell me where Raz is. Is this a bribe? You know what? Just give it here. The cat thinks the scribbles lead somewhere. Follow the nose. Those were his last words before he darted off. At least, I think that's what he said. That should be pretty easy. Follow the nose that's in this direction. Oh my god, they could not have made it any more obvious. Follow the nose. The nose leads in this direction. It's very bright too, so it's very easy to see. Raz doesn't care who you worship. He just wants to know if your cult was attacked recently. Perry, I would welcome you. Our prince accepts all kinds, and you'd be our first Khajiit. You'd be our first anything, actually. Hmm. Hi, Raz. Five Claw. You have the happy ability to know where to find Raz when Raz has need of you. <sighs> Getting information out of these periite idiots is like squeezing milk from a stone. This is why Raz hates dealing with Daedric cults. Raz, in your investigation into the cults, did you happen to find one devoted to Meridia, perhaps? Interesting question. Raz has learned that the court of Bedlam has been attacking the cults of other princes, including those devoted to Meridia and Azura. Now, usually if crazy cultists kill each other, it's good for Somerset. But this feels wrong. I need to talk to a pri uh, priest of Meridia. You do? I do. Well, Raz trusts you. So I can tell you about an old friend who attends Meridia ceremonies in the Eton near Grotto. Raz doesn't approve, but it's her life, yes? This one will make contact and meet you outside Eton near. Sounds good. I'll meet you there. Raz was planning to head up north to Eton near after talking to these periite imbeciles anyway to check on his old friend. The court of Bedlam's attacks on the other cults were particularly vicious, and this one worries so. Uh, the, the Sijix captured a uh, Mephala cultist. He's the... He says the princes are at war. War? That's weird. That would explain the attacks. Raz isn't an expert on Daedric cults, but this doesn't sound like their usual behavior. This one thought they just sort of left each other alone. The Court of Bedlam might have wiped out Meridia's cultist uh, with its attack. That's a terrible thing to say. No, Raz refuses to believe it. Raz's friend is a survivor. She's got to be all right. This one will go and make contact. Make sure she's fine. Then we'll meet you outside Eton near. Okay, sounds good. But before I go, have you learned anything else about the Court of Bedlam by, by any chance? Raz hears things. He heard about the attacks on the rival cults. He heard that the court consists of followers of three different princes. And he heard that even though the High Elves constitute the majority of the court's members, there is one Dark Elf. One Dark Elf? Is that significant? A single Dark Elf among a group of High Elves? Seems significant to Raz. Besides, everyone seems to fear her, but this one could not dig up any details. We should keep an eye out for this Dark Elf, yes? Yeah, perhaps. I don't really see the oddity in having someone of another racial uh, a, a fiction. Uh, I don't understand how that's very significant, you know? Maybe here because everyone's so prideful within their own race, but that kind of makes it look a little racist in my opinion. I'm just going to swim. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get eaten by some uh, slaughterfish. These high elves here, it, it sounds very, they sound very racist actually. <clears throat> but, Mara, I don't know. Me. 
Somebody's son seems to be missing. Let's discover this real quick. Haha! -ha! Shimmering dock works. What is that for anyways? Oh, Adept Rider. Garbage set. We should be relatively close, right? Kind of. Let's go ahead and uh, check this place out. We'll, we'll discover this as well. We might as well we're, since we're already here. Not interested. Goodbye. I don't know why I did that, but I, I figured I could do it and I thought it was going to be pretty cool and it was. <clears throat> Alright, we should literally be there. It's in, it's literally outside of a delve, which is kind of interesting. It's probably going to make us go into the delve. Oh, hello. I'm glad you're safe. I won't. May Meridia's light shine upon you. Raz told me you need to contact my prince. With the recent attacks, however, I need to ask you what your interest in Meridia happens to be. Well, we need Meridia's help to recover and repair the Dawnbreaker sword. Meridia's sword of light? I'm not sure I understand. Even if I wanted to help you, my efforts would probably be in vain. My prince doesn't speak to just any mortal. The leader of our sect had Meridia's ear, but he was caught in a recent attack. Meridia aided me in the past. She'll remember me. This is referencing the whole Molag Ball situation. My prince <coughs> blessed you with her presence. That's a story I'd love to hear sometime. One time, now, sometime. Now, I'll do my best to help you, but the path to the shrine will be hazardous. Mephala's creatures still roam the area feasting on my brothers and sisters. So, out of the the three people, is Mephala the leader of the three princes? Pact, if you will? I don't know. Kind of interested, to say the least. Uh, tell me how to reach the shrine. Enter the grotto and look for our camp. Meridia's shrine looms over the area. Raz will accompany me and will enter via a side tunnel. I don't want you to have to worry about me while you're defending yourself against those creatures. Will do. I'll meet you at Meridia's shrine. Raz thinks this is a bad idea, Sadara. I want to help Right behind us. you, partner. Maybe this is the reason Meridia allowed me to escape when the rest of my sect was attacked. Okay. I had a feeling we were supposed to go into this dell. It wouldn't have placed us outside this dell. I knew I shouldn't have let her go in. Idiot. I'm actually not gonna focus on this quest line right now. Uh, at a later time, when we're done with all the quest lines, we will come back here. But I do want to get this, and I will kill this dude. Nah, I probably won't kill him. I'll do that when I do the quest. It's not a big deal. For now, though, I'm just going to get the, um... For some reason, I thought I still had that little ball. The Vampire's Bane. Those spiders got there way too late. Whatever you say there, guy. This way. We're almost there. Raz is not fond of Daedric cultists. But no one deserves to die like this. How the hell? The Bedlam are cowards. They struck us down without warning. <clears throat> I will try my best to get your friend an audience with the Lady of Light. The shrine is just inside. How in the hell did they beat me to this door? I don't know. Master, what did those bastards do to you? They broke her Not leg. What they did to his body. They defiled Meridia's shrine. That's hey, Meridia. Right. That is not natural, yes. Meridia, she goes to us. My devoted priest, a loyal soldier, and an intrepid instigator. <coughs> Step closer and bask in Meridia's light. Will do. Why is this statue talking to Raz? Should it be doing such a thing? Uh... Do, do I have to go up there? Maybe? Here, let's try to hop onto this box. Oh god. Oh god. 
Let's try this again. Oh! Is it- is it even possible? Let me see some. Oh, and- oh my god. Oh my god, it's possible. My followers murdered. My shrine desecrated. The other princes, this so-called triad, they must answer for these insults. But I sense a question in your mind. Speak, champion of Cold Harbor. Ask what you will of the Prince of Light. How many shrines does Meridia have to get desecrated? But this time at least we didn't have a beacon. Your golden knight was captured and his sword was damaged. We seek your guidance on how to repair it. They dare to steal my vessel? To hold prisoner the agent I put in place to foil their despicable plans? My light shall not be snuffed out. My colored rooms will not be compromised. You must set Darien Gautier free. Darien? Darien Gautier from Cold Harbor? He's your vessel? My vessel just thinks of itself as the mortal called Darien Gautier. In reality, Darien is my will and my power, inserted into your reality whenever my light needs to banish a darkness. I will admit my night changed after it met you, though. What do you mean, Darien changed? The night had a single purpose, but somehow you complicated matters. Now the night actually cares. <laughs> you and my vessel will both be required to stop the triad. You must enter Mafala's realm and rescue Darien. I retrieve the Dawnstar gem. Can it be used to reforge the Dawnbreaker? The gem cannot grow a new sword, but I can add to its power. Now you can use it to locate Darien in Mafala's realm. Return to the right master and tell him what I said. Wait, how dare they? The triad dares invade my sacred realm? This cannot stand. The triad's attacking your realm? What in the what? My prince is gone. I can't feel her presence any longer. Raz is certain that the nice statue will be fine. In the meantime, let this one take you someplace where you will be safe. Is he spitting game? It's not the Raz time. I've seen many things. Were sharks, flying tigers, were sharks on top of flying tigers, <laughs> but a talking light? Oh, Queen Irene will never believe it. How much trouble are we in, Five Claw? Be honest with old Raz. A lot, actually. The Danger Triad wants uh, the Crystal Tower, and they're attacking the other princes. Too much honesty is never a good thing. How do we battle Daedric princes? Raz supposes an army would help. An army always helps. Alas... Raz rarely has an army to call upon when he needs one the most. The right master will think of something. We just have to find Darien and repair the sword. And that involves traveling to places Raz never knew existed before all this started. No. Raz will see Sadara to safety and then do what he can to protect Somerset and the Crystal Tower. The Daedra fighting, Raz will leave to you, yes? Okay, fair enough. Man. I cannot believe Darien Gutierrez is the Golden Knight. The Golden Knight looks so freaking cool, man. I oh my god, and it's Darien. Oh, let's let's not let's not fight that guy. Hold on, are we leaving this place? Yes, we are. Uh oh. Uh oh. I figured I was gonna fall right into his presence. Eh, yeah, we didn't get to fight him. You guys see nothing. I definitely snuck through all of this. That was amazing. Guys, oh my god, I cannot wait. So when the day of recording this, tomorrow is the release of High Isle. I can't wait to get two new companions. Woo! 
I'm very, very, very excited. I like both. I can't wait for both. Or I'm excited for both. But the one I'm specifically really excited for is Isabel. Bretons are... They rapidly became my second favorite race. And in this game specifically, my second favorite class is the Templar. Which, of course, I'm a Templar in this character. So, it ends up being perfect. And I've said this before, but Imperials are my favorite race. And in this game, the Dragonites are my favorite class. So, needless to say, Bastion is definitely a really cool companion in my eyes. I totally forgot to get the Sky Shard from that place. You guys need to stop distracting me. It's okay. See, I would have had a skill point right there. Do I have any extras? I have five. It's okay. Let's go ahead and take off for now. It's too late to go back at this point. Oh, well, we'll get it. We'll get it one day. Ooh, look, it's an Indrek. These things are freaking gorgeous, man. I kind of low-key wish they were real. I want to pet one. But in this game, they're kind of, uh... They're kind of aggressive, so, uh, maybe petting them might not be such a good idea. Where the hell am I going? Oh, not, we're already here. Hey, there's a sky shard right here somewhere. There it is. Heaven? Isn't this the... Oh, I could have just fast traveled. Let's go ahead and grab this. Haha, -ha, too easy. Bam! Am I in combat? No. Perfect! And just like that, we're back in Arteum. Unfortunately, a little further than I would like since we didn't actually fast travel to the Way Shrine, but hey, it's okay. For now, we'll get on our super fast horse and get our happy butts over there. Get out of my way. Wolf. A new light. A new hand touches the beacon. The bacon. Sausage, bacon, eggs. Okay, anyways. I'm getting distracted here. I'm assuming it's downstairs? Yes. Yes, it is. Dude, I wonder if we're going to be able to use the Dawnstar. I see signs of the court's work throughout Somerset, but nothing of the court itself. I think the court of Bedlam has fewer members than we imagined. That's Enough a good thing. Of this for now. Let's see what our friend has learned. I've learned a lot, right, Master? You return, but without the Dawnbreaker. Weren't you able to make contact with Meridia? Forgive my impatience. This inability to remember has me on edge. Go on. Tell me what you learned. Yeah, relax, guy. Just kidding. No, uh, the court attacked the cultist, uh, the cult of Azura and Meridia. But I was able to speak with Meridia herself. The court of Bedlam is eliminating the cults of the other princes? To what end? To the end. You said you were able to make contact with Meridia. Then why didn't she give you a restored Dawnbreaker? Well, funny story that. Uh, we can use the Dawnstar gem to find the Golden Knight. He can restore the Dawnbreaker. I suspected that might be the case. I'll send Valserin with you into Mafala's realm to rescue the Golden Knight. Why do I get the feeling she's gonna die? I don't like the way he said that. She- I don't want her to come. Can I just leave her behind? Meridia said her realm was being invaded. I think the Triad of Princess attacked Meridia. A disturbing development, to be sure. That's scary. But we'll have to hope Meridia can protect herself. I'll open a portal to Mafala's spiral skein when you're ready. Then you can use the gem to find the Golden Knight. Oh, I'm so ready. Mafala's Don't worry. realm can be daunting, but I'll be with you the entire time. Remember to stay focused on your destination at all times. Otherwise, you could get lost in myriad pathways of the Dreaming Cave. And whatever you do, don't lose that gem. I'm not. Don't worry, Darian. I'll save you. I'm coming for you, bud. The spiral skin. Skein? Skein? I know they just said it, but I guess I didn't catch it. So Mafala, I'm assuming, is the leader of the triad, right? It's gotta be. Find Valserine. 
Oh my god, where does she go? Can I just... Can I go through here? Oh, burn. OMG, this place is... Gangster. I see you. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alrighty. So, I guess we gotta burn this too? I said burn, baby, burn. Ooh. Dunzo. Where head are you there, sister? Okay. Ooh, who's this guy? Oh, he's just a huntsman? I'm gonna have to fight him, aren't I? I think there's something stalking me in here. Oh no. Oh, I gotta hurry up. I really love that move, man. Top, what is it called? Toppling charge? Yeah, toppling charge. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bam. This is where we saw her, I think. That's what you get. Dude, the, the the daggers do so much more damage than my other ability. But this also heals me. It, it definitely keeps me alive for sure. Nice. Sit your butt down. I like it. <laughs> Hit him. There was a little bit of weird lag there. Ha. Ah, I have found it. Revealed path. I wonder where this is taking me. Okay, so it's this way. Hello. I saw you a mile away there, buddy. Mr. Beetlejuice. Day is, ours. is it ours? I don't remember buying a day. We've got to be getting close to her, right? Actually, I think I found her already. She's literally... She literally got cocooned. Thank the stars. I can breathe again. Hello, Valstrine. I couldn't breathe. <clears throat> As usual, you found me just in the nick of time. The beast that captured me... I've never seen anything like it. Are you all right? A little lightheaded, but I'll be fine. Now that we're together, we can focus on finding the Golden Knight. And if that beast shows its mandibles again, I'll be ready. What kind of beast attacked you? Something with the body of a giant spider. And, well, I'm not sure how to describe it. But it was a creature right out of my nightmares. Just what you'd expect in the realm of a Daedric Prince. No matter. Let's go find the Golden Knight. Alright, let's go. Honestly, they, uh... I can't wait to find Darien, dude. That Golden Knight looked really cool. The mystery behind the Golden Knight was really cool, too. 
I see a path. Shut up, Val. Let's go. We got a golden knight to save. I definitely didn't push that button. I mean, I must have, but... wasn't a pleasant experience. Why not? We're killing spiders. Spiders are icky. What's up, buddy? You want some of this? Look at all the healing done. This thing is insane. Where are you going? Sit your butt down. It's brighter. Out of place in this dismal setting. That must be the golden knight. That's a very astute observation. Let's throw him off. Oh, I really was hoping I could shove him out of here. That would have been funny. Charge! Oh, I definitely went. I, I don't even have to kill these guys. I'm going the wrong way here. Don't worry, Darian. I'm coming for you, buddy. It's kind of funny. I just used the Dawnbreaker. Oops. Victory is cruel. It is cruel, Bastion. But I need you to focus on fighting. I love this build. Love this build. It's a lot of fun. Ooh. Hello. That was the wrong ability. Let's take some heals. Ah, more things to burn. Burn, baby, burn. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Dude, these guys are so screwed. They don't even know what's what they got in front of them. You're about to regret this. It's Darian. Silence, or my webs will shut up. I'm going all out on these guys. What's up, homeboy? Dunzo. Did he know I was coming? Get out of my way. I'm trying to burn this thing. The golden knight. I would love to set him free if you just get the hell out of my way. There we go. Finally. <coughs> Took you long enough. I expected this rescue hours ago. Your gratitude has a hollow ring, Knight. <laughs> oh, I can be very grateful, my lady. Maybe we should just leave him. <laughs> I'm sure the right master would understand. Hi, Darian. Well, this is awkward. You're probably wondering how your old friend Darian became Meridius' champion and got stuck in all this sticky webbing. You know, it's a funny story, really. Uh, probably better if I wait to tell it until after we escape from this realm. Hmm? So you're the Golden Knight. The same one that has been trying to contact us? <coughs> Guilty as charged. Meridia sent me to offer my assistance, but those other princes, they kept interfering. And then I was dragged into this pit of spider harlots. Look, we can catch up on things later. Right now, we need to get out of here. I mean, you're right. Let's get out of here. There's one small problem. We can't just walk through a door to get back to Tamriel. Believe me, I tried. How did you find me, by the way? Mephala specifically said she was putting me someplace where no one would ever think to look. Well, I mean, I, retri I retrieved... Uh... Yeah, I retrieved the Dawnstar gem uh, when you dropped it. It led me right to you. Oh, right, the gem. That makes sense. I perfectly understand. You need Meridius Champion, so here I am. And with the gem, I can repair Dawnbreaker. Just so you know, I feel awful. I am in no condition to fight at the moment. Stay close. I'll get you out of here. 
Let's get out of here. Meet me outside. He's smarter than I expected. Alright. Oh, there she is. Oh, of course I would get stuck on something. I can open a portal to the Dreaming Cave, but the ritual <clears throat> will take time and will more than likely draw Mafala's Daedra. You need to hold them off until I can find a way back home. Uh... I'll keep the Daedra busy until you complete the ritual. I won't be able to assist you while I'm casting. And the Golden Knight doesn't appear to be in any condition to fight. It's okay, me and Bashi got this. you're on your own, my friend. Not a worry. Let my Let's voice go. penetrate the barriers between here and the Dreaming Cave. I'm not worried about it. We got this. Me and Bastion are gangsters. Look, there's Daryl, you know, they're just chilling. What's up, little guys? That's all you guys got? You guys are weak. It's not even a competition. Keep them back a few moments longer. Um, sure. Where'd you come from? <coughs> God, these guys are cake. They literally die in like one, one attack, literally. Like I'll just topple charge and then the one opening. sweeps. Just by the stars, that spider thing. Poison claw, Brenovola poison claw. What's up? That's all you got? That's all he had, she had, whatever it is, I don't know. Hey. Is it open? The portal has opened. Let's get out of here. Will do. I mean, I could be here all day. These guys are they're 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 cake. But okay. <sighs> Where am I? Oh, there it is. Valserin, take the knight to the healers. We'll deal with the sword later. <coughs> In the meantime, I need to speak with our friend. Hello. You and Valserin entered Mafala's realm and rescued Meridia's golden knight. I couldn't ask for more, my friend. I assume Darian believes he can repair the Dawnbreaker. Uh, Darian said he could repair the Dawnbreaker sword, yes. I hope that would be the case. The Golden Knight will need to recover some of his strength first, though. Who knows what tortures Mafala and her creatures inflicted upon him. That's not a fate I'd wish on my worst enemy. What do the three Daedric Princes hope to accomplish? Who can say what drives such beings as these? To work with the sea slowed, to pit their followers against the cultures of other princes, to launch attacks into rival oblivion realms. Uh, such actions boggle the mind. Uh, how long before we can attempt uh, to breach the barrier? Knight Darian needs to recover his strength first and restore the Dawnbreaker. Then we can attempt to unblock the path and see where I took the heart of transparent law. For now, take this with my thanks. We'll do. We'll not do. While the Golden Knight recovers, we must make preparations for breaching the Daedric Barrier. Since I can't remember where that particular pathway goes, we'll have to be ready for any contingency. I also need to tell you about another memory. You remember something else? <coughs> My memories return slowly, a little at a time. While you searched for the Knight, a memory came back to me. A woman's voice, barely a whisper. Beautiful, but speaking in a language I can't understand. Repeating the same words over and over. Uh, what do you think the memory means? I suspect that the language is ancient. It may actually predate the languages of Tamriel. I feel that the memory is connected to the barrier in the Dreaming Cave, and where I hid the heart. My friend, we need to discover the meaning of these words. I'll help in any way that I can. I hoped you'd say that. I sent Oriandra to my study to review my memory and see if she could translate the ancient words. I even suggested a scholar she could contact. An expert in ancient languages and obscure dialects. Go, check on her progress. You have no idea what language the voice is speaking in? No. I just feel that the words contain the key to where I hid the heart of transparent law. I do know the language is not native to Tamriel, or to anywhere on Nern, for that matter. It feels ancient, 
alien. I hope the expert recognizes it. Who is the expert? Forte, the Grand Maestro of the House of Reveries. We've shared research in the past, and he thinks the language could be related to tablets he once studied in Eben Stadmont. Now go and see if Oriandra has made any progress by reviewing my memory. Will do. I gotta do something real quick. And we are golden. Perfect. Where am I? Uh-oh. There we go. It's so lost in translation. When they made this place. Oh god, I got stuck. Back into the corporate tunnel. It's not it's not called the corporate tunnel. I fully acknowledge that, but sounds like corporate tunnel to me. Not derived from Aliad. Though I see a possible correlation to Daedric linguistic patterns. Okay. Oh. Don't you know not to interrupt a sage when she's deep in concentration? No. I suppose the right master sent you to see how my research was coming along. I've listened to his memory over and over, and I examined every relevant tome I could find. Uh, have you been able to identify the unknown language? Not yet. The master of the House of Reveries sent me his work. It relates to a similar language seen in the ruins of Eben Stadmont, but I only understand a little of it. I wish Lathan was still one of us. He was our language expert. You know, this right here, this thing right here is really throwing me off for some reason. Lathan's an expert of ancient languages? Ancient languages and battle magic, to name just a few. Lathan <sighs> betrayed us, and I don't trust him, but I've reached a dead end. We need help, and he's the best option I can think of. Take the notes and show them to Lathan. What do we have to lose? Everything. Why not settle with the second best? Unless she's the second best, if that's the case, then yeah, we don't have a choice. But anyways, I'll take the notes and talk to Lathan. I'll let the right master know what I proposed. He may not like it, but he's always telling us to utilize every available resource. I think this qualifies. You'll find Lathan in Valserin's study. See if you can convince him to translate the words. Um, do you really expect Lathan to help us? I have no idea, <clears throat> but it's worth a try. I know Lathan and the Right Master were friends. I don't believe Lathan would purposely try to harm Ikesis. On the other hand, if Lathan thinks that helping us will help his cause, he'll jump at the chance. Why do you think Lathan joined the forces with Mephala? I suppose it had something to do with his daughter. Elderway was a beautiful girl. Smart, sweet, and full of energy. She brightened the entire island. When she fell ill, Lathan and Velserin grew apart. It was how they dealt with the tragedy. I mean, we kind of already know that that's the case, right? Uh, the Sigic Order couldn't save her? Don't you think we tried? The Right Master, Valserin, the entire Conclave. But nothing helped. She grew weaker and weaker, and then she was gone. Val threw herself into her work after that. Lathan just grew more distant. Uh, shouldn't Val have asked uh, Lathan for this favor? Only if you want to guarantee that Lathan refuses to help us. Haven't you seen them since they were reunited? Val wants to kill him, and Lathan hates her with a passion. It's true. They used to be so in love. Now it breaks my heart to see them like this. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, so this is the Grand Maestro's Fortes. Uh, you guys could go ahead and read that if you would like. I have to go talk to Mr. Earl Lathan once more. So she, he's, she said that he's in uh, the study. <clears throat> Interesting. Attentive when our daughter actually needed you. Lathan, I... Oh. I need to go check on the night anyway. Val, Oh, wait. she's pissed. Damn it. He cares about her still. By the spinner's holy webs. 
When did I become an insufferable ass? When you joined the cultists. Catherine didn't deserve that. <clears throat> Elderway was her daughter, too. Why am I talking to you about this? I know it isn't because I like you. Because I really don't. I understand. You're good with languages, right? Is this some new attempt at interrogation? If so, I'm not familiar with the technique. Very well, I'll play along. Yes, I am a master linguist, specializing in ancient and obscure languages. Why do you ask? Uh, the right master heard these words, but we can't translate them. They may point to the other crystal, uh, tower, tower crystal. Intriguing. I've never seen this dialect before. I can translate it, but I need more to work with. I need to examine the original tablets found at Eben Stadmont. That will never happen, of course. You do remember I'm a prisoner here, don't you? Yeah, that's why this is all weird in my opinion, but okay. Uh, I could go to Eben Stad Stadmont. What do you need to complete the translation? According to those notes, the writing is carved into a massive stone. I doubt you'd be able to carry it back here. All right. You've piqued my interest. Use this rune when you reach Eben Stadmont, and I'll be able to see what you see. That seems fishy. What's going on between you and Valserine? I don't see how that's relevant to our <coughs> interactions. Not in the least. Still, my words were spiteful, meant to hurt her. There was no need for me to open old wounds. But why does this concern you? I'm your enemy. Are you too dense to see that? Yes. What happened to you and Val was horrible. I'm just trying to help. You and Ikesis, always sticking your noses into places they don't belong. I suppose I can appreciate that, but kindness won't help you in the coming war. Very well. I'll tell you this. Val loved our daughter. And our daughter loved Val. So why do you hate each other? <clears throat> Wait. I... I'm not sure what emotions I feel right now. But when my daughter was dying, when she was crying for her mother's comfort, Val wasn't there. She was buried in her work, too busy or too frightened to spend those final moments with Ildaway. Damn. What does the rune you give me do exactly? Nothing nefarious, if that's what you're asking. Just enter the forest, find the obscure language, and use the rune so I can see what you see. It won't do anything beyond that, I assure you. Why would the hell would I trust him? What can I expect to find... <coughs> Excuse me. What can I expect to, uh, expect to find in Evan Stadmont? According to the <clears throat> scribblings of this grand maestro forte, Spinner's Web, that's a pompous title, the forest is a maze filled with all kinds of beasts and daedra. As to the reason why, who can say? Sometimes a cursed wood is just a cursed wood. I guess. What's going on between... I've already asked that. I don't see how that's relevant. Okay. It's not relevant anymore. Uh, I mean, I guess it really wasn't, but I'm a nosy bastard, so. Let's go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> so, wait, where are we going? Uh, Stadmont. I wish I knew exactly where Stadmont was. You know what? I'm willing to bet is actually in Somerset somewhere. It is. It's right there. So, actually, there's a way shrine right there. I don't know why in the world I was planning to port there bam just like that we're back in Somerset that's such a beautiful picture man really is okay so where am I should be literally right down the road how do I get there I hear fighting in there. Wait, late. <coughs> ah, the room is working perfectly. 
It's almost as if I'm standing right next to you. Kinda are. I can feel the powerful magic that permeates this place. I sense a Daedric influence, but something that's far older than my Prince Bathala. What should I be looking for? Well, the Maestro's notes said the ancient words were etched into a massive stone. I expect you'll need to travel deeper into the forest to find the exact location. I can't translate the words the right master heard until you find that stone. Uh, how do I find this massive stone covered in ancient writings? I'm not your tour guide. Just pick a direction and start walking. Wait a moment. The Maestro's notes. There was a passage that might help. Something about crows. Maybe that would be enough to guide you. Something about crows. Okay, I'll find the stone. Refer to the book and use the rune again when you locate the ancient writing. Sure, whatever you say. Oh, that was cool. An injury just appeared. What? Bastion, you got that, right? Surprised that freaking bastard hit me, though. Haha! -ha! Ebon Stadmont. Really, guy? Get away from me. Wherever could that blasted mercenary be? Okay. Now we're finally in. This is going... Oh, man, I can't... There's no mini-map or nothing for this place. Don't look at me. Uh... I'm gonna guess up here? They all say Eben Stadmont. What's up here? Okay. That goes to Somerset. So that's that can't possibly be it. Let's try this one. <clears throat> I heard an update to the quest. Did I did I go in the right one? I think I went into the right one. It says locate the inscribed stone. Oh. Now there's a mini map. Look at that, two Templars. That was easy. It was easy, Bastion. I highly agree. You see nothing, wolf. Well, that was a fail. Hmm. We should be here. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Who's this guy? Oh, that's another player. There's absolutely nothing here. Um, it says below, though. Oh, the room. This is a bad idea. Inscription. You found it. Something isn't right. I feel. Our connection breaking up. It's nocturnal. Oh. Nocturnal. Now that Lathan's gone, we can talk freely. Earl. Th Thinnerwin. These words of power. They aren't meant for mortal eyes. As an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, believe me when I say that Lathan isn't being totally honest with you. So then why would I trust you? As an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, why should I believe a word you exactly? I wish to maintain the balance of power among the Daedric Triad. <clears throat> if Lathan translates this language and passes the secret onto his mistress, Mafala, She'll gain an advantage that could threaten my prince, Nocturnal. It sounds like the triad of Daedric Princes isn't as united as we thought. Speculate all you want. I'm here to present you with a gift. Nocturnal wants me to provide you with the meaning of the ancient words. It's in all our best interests for the right master to remember where he hid the heart of transparent lore. 
So what do the words mean? The phrase the right master remembers. The one that repeats itself over and over. It's a spell to retrieve something hidden. When the time is right, he just needs to repeat the phrase and the heart's hiding place will be revealed. Why doesn't Nocturnal retrieve the heart herself? My mistress doesn't explain herself to me, and she certainly won't explain herself to you. I assume, though, since the heart was hidden by the right master, then only the right master can retrieve it. You know exact. You knew exactly when and where to contact me. How? Arteum is only as <coughs> isolated as it allows itself to be. First, the Abyssal Pearl allowed the Sea Slode and Mafala to invade the Sidjik Island. Then you took Lathan, an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, prisoner. We know your moves before you make them. Uh. <clears throat> What does the Triad of Daedric Princes hope to achieve? Our princes plan to do away with the laws imposed by other powers. They want to remake Nern, reshape it to better suit their every inclination. Of course, to do this, all obstacles must be cast aside, including the other Daedric Princes. And what does the Court of Bedlam get out of all this? The Court isn't evil. We wouldn't be a part of something that didn't add to the greater good. When our princes are done, war and sickness will be eradicated. There will be true peace and godhood for the court, as befits beings of our stature. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case. How did you get involved in all this? I am a dark elf, a child of Morrowind who lost her way. Anger and despair almost overwhelmed me until Nocturnal reached out to comfort me. The Night Mistress filled me with new purpose and gave me something greater than myself to believe in. But you're not a high elf, and the other members of the court, uh, and the other members of the court of Bedlam. While it's true that the court consists primarily of high elves who believe their birthright is the key to godhood, I am not so naive. Nocturnal selected me as her earl. She taught me that loyalty is the path to ascension. And my loyalty is strong. Mm, okay. Interesting. Tell the right master. It's a spell of retrieval. Finally. I've re-established my connection to the rune. Tell me what Nocturnal's Earl said to you. Who the hell do I trust? They are both betrayers. I can't believe Nocturnal's Earl interfered like that. We're supposed to be allies. Why would she want to stop me from reading that ancient inscription? Nocturnal's Earl said that the ancient phrase is a spell. A spell? Interesting. And somehow connected to the Right Master's forgotten hiding place. I wonder why Nocturnal decided to share this information. She isn't usually the most forthcoming of the court's esteemed princes. Nocturnal's Earl also indicated that you're that you've been informing the court about our plans. Right. I told them to interrupt my research before I could unravel an ancient and powerful language. Look, you should come back to Kapora Tower now. The right master wants to hear everything my associate shared with you. And frankly, so do I. I'll return to Arteum as soon as I can. Huh. I just wish I could have spent a few moments studying that inscription. That is most definitely interesting. I don't know who to trust. They're both shady. So he follows Mephala, who I personally think might be the leader. She, the girl that appeared, the Dark Elf, the Dunmer, she follows Nocturnal. I, d I don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna port to Arteum. Even if it's gonna cost me 131 gold. <clears throat> Everything about this is interesting. 
This is definitely one of my favorite expansions so far. I made this place. And it's only getting more and more interesting. I'm I don't I just don't know who to trust. How do I get over there? Ah. There's a way through here. Hey. Andrew, you should have consulted me beforehand. She saw an opportunity and she took it, Tychesis. Silence, Lathan. Need I put you in chains to remind you of your status here? I'm sorry, right, Master. We should have asked permission. It won't happen again. What happened? This escapade of yours could have been disastrous. What were you and Oriandra thinking, trusting Lathan oh. to help us translate the ancient language? Now nothing you discovered can be trusted. We're back to square one. Uh, Nocturnal Earl says, The words you remembered are a spell that can be revealed, uh, that reveal the heart's location. I observed what I could through Lathan's connection, but it seems to me that the Court of Bedlam is just trying to confuse us. What do you think? Should we trust Nocturnal's Earl or not? I think we need to be cautious. I wouldn't take anything the Court of Bedlam tells us at face value. Then we're no better off than we were. Except now we have the Golden Knight. Let's proceed and hope for the best. Perhaps I'll remember more after we use the portal. Go outside and retrieve Darien, then meet me in the Dreaming Cave. Hey, I'll go talk to Darien. No matter whether Nocturnal's Earl spoke truth or lies, we need to recover the heart of transparent law. I'm sure I hid it somewhere beyond the Daedric Barrier. Was there anything else before you go and check on Darien? Uh, do you remember anything else about this supposed spell? I remember I tried to resist the Sea Slot's compulsion and was able to maintain a sliver of control. But as for a revelation spell, where would I acquire something in such an obscure language? <clears throat> and whose voice do I hear echoing in my mind? You don't remember anything else. I remember... I remember using what control I still possessed to foil Katora's plans. I recall forging a bargain with someone. Someone I have no memory of. Clavic is vile. I remember that it was the only way to assure the heart's safety. Has to be Clavic is vile. Maybe we should leave the Heart of Transparent Law hidden away? That, my friend, would be a mistake. Somerset's ancient defenses have withered since the Transparent Law crystal was broken and the heart removed. Every moment the crystal tower remains incomplete, another protection falls away. But what if, uh, it's all just an elaborate trap to get you to reveal the hidden palace, or place? I'm sure that it is. But in that certainty, we gain an advantage. You'll be at my side when we locate the heart, and you'll be there to help me defend it from the court of Bedlam and their princes. Okay. So we're playing that game, I see. Not a very smart one. But I guess there's a little, uh, advantage in knowing what's coming, right? Regardless, I don't like going into traps. Unknowingly or knowingly. Regardless. Okay, talk to Darian Gutierrez. Where's the homeboy, the Golden Knight at? My friend! Oh my god! Wounds. They're just gone! I've always healed fast, Val. I can call you Val, right? Give me a moment. I'd like to chat with our friend. He got up really fast after that push-up. Of course. Then go to the Dreaming Cave. The Rite <sighs> Master's ready to begin. Hi, Darian. I wanted to thank you again for getting me out of Mephala's realm. It wasn't anything like I originally imagined. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that I was able to repair the Dawnbreaker. The sword's power should allow us to breach the barrier. Looks like you're fully recovered. No thanks to the Sigic healers. I thought they were going to slice me open to try to figure out what makes me... Well, me. I'm glad you stopped by, though. I wanted to talk to you. In private. 
Well, what do you want to talk about? <clears throat> this might sound like a strange question. In fact, depending on how you answer it, it is a strange question. Do you... Do you remember me? I'm not talking about here in Somerset. I mean, from someplace else. Yeah, of course I do. I remember uh, you. I, I thought you... I thought we lost you in Cold Harbor. Yeah, it was terrible. One moment I'm fighting Molog Ball, and the next I'm stuck in the colored rooms without any kind of explanation. <coughs> I tried everything I could think of to get out of there, but nothing worked until Meridia gave me this mission. So then you didn't die? I thought I did. After the big flash of light, I remember floating. Then there was more light. Meridia was there. She told me I was in her realm. Other than her lectures, it was pretty boring. Come to think of it, those were pretty boring too. <laughs> you said Meridia gave you a mission. Oh yeah. She said I was supposed to help you stop the Daedric Princes to keep them from reaching the Crystal Tower. Problem is, she didn't tell me how we were supposed to do that, and now I can't seem to reach her. I hate to admit it, but <coughs> I'm worried. <clears throat> Let's go get the heart back. Fixing the Dawnbreaker was surprisingly easy, by the way, especially considering that I had never repaired a Daedric artifact before. Uh, interesting. But before we go to the Dreaming Cave, can I ask you a few questions? Questions? Not like a test or anything, though, right? Tests give me a rash. But sure, yeah, what would you like to know? You're not a Breton, are you? I wish I knew the answer to that. I remember my father well enough. He was a Breton. But I never met my mother. In fact, now that I think about it, my entire childhood is kind of a blur. I never questioned that. I'm not really sure why. Is Meridia his mom? Did Meridia tell you anything? Meridia only ever told me I was her vessel. I can't say I remember volunteering for that job, though. I have her magic inside me. I've had it all my life. I can feel it. But why? I have so many questions. Such as? Who I am. What I am. Why the amazing good looks and roguish charm if I'm just here to stomp on Meridia's enemies. I mean, I guess if I was a prince, I'd want a dashing champion, so I can't blame her for that. Uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. How have you been? Being in the colored rooms was fun at first. Those golden saints were pleasant to look at. Their personalities leave a lot to be desired, though. I've had better conversations with the floating rocks than with those shining arses. <laughs> Why did Maria send you to her realm? I ask myself that question every day. Meridia said I had a purpose, but she refused to elaborate. She said I'd recognize it when the time was right. Nothing more comforting than a Daedric prince being all vague about your fate. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, what does Meridia want you to do? Help you. She talked about you a lot, as a matter of fact. We've already stopped one Daedric prince together, right? How hard can it be to stop three? Uh, about that. Man... There's a there's a chance that he might be the son of a Daedric prince. At least that's what I got out of it. Oh my god, there we go. So back downstairs to the dreaming cave we go. <coughs> so Mef uh, not Mephala. So Nocturnal and Clavicus Vile have something to do with all of this. We're as prepared as we can be without knowing exactly where this pathway leads. I've even set wards that will help protect me from the Daedric Princes. Remember though, our primary goal is to recover the heart of transparent law. How do we activate the portal? The Golden <clears throat> Knight must wield the reforged Dawnbreaker to breach the barrier. Then we simply step through the portal and see where it takes us. I expect we may call upon your fighting skills before all is said and done. Are you ready to proceed? Absolutely. Sir Darian, deal with this barrier, if you please. Where My is pleasure. He? Oh, he's right in front of me. The way is open. Let's go. 
Darian, you... SOB, look at this man. Look at this guy. Hold on, get out of the way, Bastion. Look at him. What a stud. He is literally a stud. And I love that outfit. Must say. Okay. Let's get back to this. Come on, Darian. We got some we got places we gotta be. Everglow. Oh my god, we are in Nocturnal's area. Again. Have we been here before? I'll be <gasps> alright, Nazarin. Manipulating the dreamy cave always exhausts me. We'll take it slow. The old wizard doesn't look so good. I think us. Hold on. The old wizard doesn't look so good. I think the trip into oblivion took a lot out of him. But we're here, right? Can't he just say the magic words so we can find the heart and get out of here? No, I suppose not. That would be too simple. He's holding the Dawnbreaker. My dude, Darian, you're a I monster. I the pathway to lead to some obscure <coughs> corner of oblivion. But this is Nocturnal's realm. I wish I could remember what compelled me to hide the heart here. You hid the Heart of Transparent Law in Nocturnal's realm? The heart is here. I'm positive. Now that I think about it, this location has a familiar feel. I've been here before. I just need to remember where I placed the stolen crystal. Uh, how do we find the heart? Take Darian and scout the path ahead. Look for any signs that might indicate where I hid the heart. Valserin will assist me and we'll follow behind you. As much as it pains me to admit, my many years are finally catching up with me. Okay, Darian and I will scout ahead then. Come on, Darian. Be prepared for anything. This is Nocturnal's realm, after all. Look at Darian go. Use Dawnbreaker? How do I use the Dawnbreaker? trying to use it again dude this is cool my god dude I'm loving this ah! yeah they're butt-ass naked look at them he's like not that I'm complaining or anything Darian you pervert oh we're here this one walks the path once more. <gasps> but where is the pretty crystal he carried last time? Ah, ah! Did that bird just talk? You heard that, right? Pay the crows no mind. <clears throat> Nothing but an annoyance. Okay, so then... Oh, talk to him. Okay, got it. The crows serve as Nocturnal's eyes. She watches us through these annoying little creatures. There's nothing to do about it except to keep moving forward until we find the hiding place. Uh, what did the crow mean by the featherless one, uh, walks the path once more? I remember carrying the heart of transparent law along this path and up toward the mountain above. I remember Nocturnal's creatures moved aside to let me pass. Obviously, they aren't as accommodating as last time I was here. Should we keep going? I don't see any alternative, do you? No. Perhaps Not really. More memories from when I was last here will return as we continue along the path. Clear the way ahead, if you please. Will do. Get better, my guy. You gotta get you. Definitely have to get better. He's probably gonna end up dying in here, isn't he? Oh! Well, he has a Dawnbreaker. Oh god. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Cake! You guys are cakewalk! Remind me to wear lighter armor next time we have to climb a mountain. I won't remember that, but okay, sure, why not? <laughs> Whoa, dude, he's a he is a monster! 
my dude, Darien is so cool. I love Darien. I'm in love with Dar. Wait, what? What is he doing? Darien, help me. Oh my god, Becky. <laughs> There's so many of them, dude. This is literally a fight for our lives. Shut up, Ashton. Fight. Bastard hurt me. The penniless one couldn't resist the sea slowed. Not on his own. Ah! What nonsense is this? He doesn't remember. So desperate he was, he leaped at our mistress's offer. Ah! Speak plainly, crows. Come back here. Ikesis, calm down. Their words mean nothing. This is huh. gross. Their words stir the echoes in my mind. So did you accept an offer f from Nocturnal? I remember fighting the Sea Sloat's compulsion with every fiber of my being. And I was losing. I remember searching for something, anything, to keep me from giving Katora the heart. Do you remember anything else? I remember Nocturnal appearing before me, offering to help me hide the heart away in a place that no one would ever find it. Then, let's keep going. Clear the path ahead while I try to recall the rest of the memory. I think he already knows. I think he just wants to be certain that it's the right memory. Huh. This is strange. Did he betray the Sigic Order? I mean, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't... be mad. At least he's did what he could to protect the, uh, the item, you know? Why are the realms... They made their choices. So be it. Alright, Bastion. Be ready for anything. Dude, I really, really want the Golden Knight as a companion. <laughs> the path ends here. Interesting, and I can't I walk in there remember either. Remember this. My kisses. What are you saying? I'm saying I remember taking the heart through that portal. Uh oh. With every step along this path. My memory grew clearer. This portal, it leads to where I had my fateful meeting with Nocturnal. Where she offered to aid me in my struggle against the sea slow Katora. What kind of aid did she offer you, though? Nocturnal offered me a spell that would hide the heart from everyone. The sea slowed, Nocturnal, even from me. As soon as I hid it away... My memory of even possessing the crystal faded like a distant dream. Interesting. So the heart is on the other side of this portal. I assume so. Some of the details still elude me. I remember entering the portal with the heart, then returning here without it in my hands. Since I cast the spell with those ancient words, only I can use it again to unseal the hiding place. I mean, makes logical sense. What about Nocturnal? My preparations included numerous wards of protection. They should allow me to resist even the magic of a Daedric Prince, at least for a short amount of time. Through the portal, I remember an ancient ruin. Head for that, and we'll meet you there. Open the portal and let's find the heart. Step cautiously. I remember very little about what lies on the other side of this portal. 
Oh, he already opened it. Oh, I guess so. Stay close, Bastion and, uh, Darien. What are we- what are we going into? Are we gonna meet Nocturnal? Are we gonna have to fight her? Shut up, bird! My god, that was annoying. I remember the words, but I <laughs> don't know exactly what they mean. Once I begin the spell, be ready for anything. We're gonna have to fight. I'm ready. Cast the spell and reveal where the heart is be is being hidden. My friends, the heart of transparent law will soon be back in our hands. Heart, reveal yourself. Ganoro Beren. Your chest is glowing. Ijavil. Of course. I put the heart inside myself. It was the perfect hiding place. Clavic is vile. The mortal hid the heart inside his own body. How clever. <gasps> uh oh. Mephala? Mephala and Clavicus vile. This could be bad. But why did Nocturnal keep this from us? No matter. I'll take the crystal now, right, Master? Uh, my wards! They're fighting each other! Check me! Oh! Bad timing! For a mortal. <sighs> but the wards won't hold long against Tell our Tell me power. when to unleash Dawnbreaker's power! Do it now! I wonder if Mephala's gonna come help. Stop struggling, mortal. You're only the inevitable. He's being dragged around like a rag doll. Command me and I'll use the sword Just hold on. We got you. We're doing what we can down here, buddy. One second. Let's go. What's up, broskies? Dawnbreaker is ready. Just give the command. That thing is pretty powerful against these Daedra. Where do all these Daedra keep coming from? Canada. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many of them, my god. <coughs> What's going on? It's kind of funny though, because I have the Dawnbreaker ultimate. Will you f glide toward- never mind. Just die. Don't think. Move. Ooh, that was nice. My god, dude. Something or someone is gonna interrupt. Don't even say it, I keep just keep fighting. Bastion's over here using his ultimate and everything. Did he use it? That's the last of them. I like him. Carry me apart. Mafala, stop that. I've got him. Wait, what's the Nocturnal! How dare you interfere? <laughs> Get out of my realm, princess. You are no longer welcome. The heart belongs to me. We made a deal, didn't we? My cases? I did what I had to. I hid the heart, even from you. The only way to retrieve it is to kill me. <laughs> Very well. I accept those terms. No! We need to go. Now! Uh. 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 
Oh my god! He's dead! I cannot believe he died. Right, Master. Damn it. Hang on. I'll get us out of here. Dawnbreaker will protect us. I hope. Meridia's vessel. You have no power here. I'll show you power, you monster. The sword of light. I'll take that. My sword! I just fixed that! The heart is mine. And soon the Crystal Tower will belong to me. I no longer need Mephala or Vile. So Hold she's on. the leader. I'm getting us out of here. I thought it was Mephala the whole time. It was actually Nocturnal. I, I, I think I know where this is going to go. I think Mephala and Tavik is Vile are going to feel betrayed. So they're going to tag right team against sir? Nocturnal. The Colonel killed him. We couldn't stop her. No. That's not possible. It's possible that it happened. Sorry. This doesn't make any sense. What happened to the right master? I mean, she just told you. Nocturnal killed him. She ha uh, she has the heart of transparent law now. I don't believe it. The right master, Aikesis, he's the best of us. Not anymore. Besides, I thought only he could reveal the heart's hidden location. Well, he kind of sort of did at the worst possible time and at the worst possible location. He hid the heart in his own chest. Nocturnal tore it out and killed him. That's, that, that's the gist of it. I knew he was remembering things, but I had no idea he was so desperate. To make a deal with a Daedric prince, even to foil the sea load, that was just... Foolish. In retrospect, though, I might have done the same. How do we beat the Triad now? Well, the yeah, see, this is exactly where I was going with my idea, right? Or my my logical formulation of thinking. Is the, the other two are going to feel betrayed. They're probably going to want to go against Nocturnal. I don't think the Triad exists anymore. Nocturnal took the heart for herself. Nocturnal betrayed the other princes? That's... actually, that's rather typical from what I've read. Without the heart, without the right master, what are we supposed to do now? Party? Maybe? Uh, we have to find another way to stop Nocturnal. I'm not sure there is another way. With the heart of transparent law, Nocturnal can control the Crystal Tower. And with the Crystal Tower, she can... well... I'm not sure why she wants the tower. We'll need to consult a few experts about that. Bet I have a full inventory. Surprise! I don't need any of this. I'm not sure there- Grief does us no good unless <coughs> we use it to focus our commitment. We need to rally our forces. It's time to turn this Daedric tide before the waters of oblivion overwhelm us. Thankfully, Sotha Seal returned while you traveled the Dreaming Cave. Hey, does Sothasil have any news to share? Sothasil said he had information meant only for Rightmaster Akisis' ears. He asked me to send the Rightmaster to see him when he returned from traveling the Dreaming Cave. Someone needs to tell Sothasil that the Rightmaster is dead. We also need to convince Sothasil to share the news he brought with us. But without the Rightmaster, he may decide to simply depart. Like all the members of the Dark Elf Tribunal, he can be very enigmatic. Maybe you should talk to him. I mean, me and him have a pretty decent relationship, I think. I'll speak to Sothasil. We need to rally our forces, my friend. Do we even have forces other than Sothasil? I don't think we have any forces. I think she's delusional. I mean, I guess we do have Darien, but Darien no longer has the Dawnbreaker either. I wasn't even sure it existed. I do. Oh yeah. 